a very good morning my dear family members dear friends please like share and subscribe dear friends as the month of june is dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus let us pray the prayer to the sacred heart of jesus with meaning and devotion o most holy heart of jesus a fountain of every blessing i adore you i love you and with lively sorrow for my sins i offer you this poor heart of mine make me humble patient pure and wholly obedient to your will grant good jesus that i may live in you and for you protect me in the midst of danger amen my dear friends by clicking the like share and subscribe buttons we proclaim praise worship and glorify the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit i pray that the triune god will embrace the entire world peace joy and healing may be felt by everyone today's catholic mass readings and reflections june 3 2023 saturday of the 8th week in ordinary time memorial of saint charles luanga and companions martyrs first reading a reading from the book of sirach chapter 51 verses 12 cd to 20 I thank you and praise you O Lord I praise you When I was still young before I started out on my travels I boldly prayed for wisdom I went to the temple and asked for her and I will look for her as long as I live From my blossoming youth to my ripe old age she has been my delight I have followed directly in her path ever since I was young in the short time I paid heed I met with great instruction since in this way I have profited I will give my teacher grateful praise I became resolutely devoted to her the good I persistently strove for I fought for wisdom and was strict in my conduct. When I prayed, I sadly confessed how far short of wisdom I fell. But I was determined to have her. And I found her by keeping myself free from sin. I have grown in wisdom since first I found her. and i will never be without her the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response the precepts of the lord give joy to the heart the law of the lord is perfect refreshing the soul the decree of the lord is trustworthy giving wisdom to the simple Your response the precepts of the lord give joy to the heart the precepts of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the command of the lord is clear enlightening the eye your response the precepts of the lord give joy to the heart the fear of the lord is pure enduring forever The ordinances of the Lord are true all of them just your response the precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart they are more precious than gold than a heap of purest gold sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb your response the precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart the acclamation alleluia alleluia let the word of christ dwell in you richly giving thanks to god the father through him alleluia alleluia 
Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 11 verses 27 to 33. They arrived once again in Jerusalem. As Jesus was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders came to him and asked him, What right have you to do these things? Who gave you this right? Jesus answered them, I will ask you just one question. And if you give me an answer, I will tell you what right I have to do these things. Tell me, where did John's right to baptize come from? Was it from God or from human beings? They started to argue among themselves. What shall we say? If we answer from God, he will say, Why then did you not believe John? But if we say from human beings, they were afraid of the people because everyone was convinced that John had been a prophet. So their answer to Jesus was, we don't know. Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you. Then by what right I do these things? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In today's gospel reading, we find that Jesus is in charge of all things. Jesus Christ is the authority. Authority means he has the power and right to give commands, enforce obedience, take action or make final decisions. He is the person in the place and position of all power. Christ's authority is from God as God. The authority of Christ is, in fact, the authority of God. And so, let us celebrate who our Savior is. Let us worship the God who is in charge. Praise the one who is King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes and remember who Christ is. He is the advocate, amen, atoning sacrifice for our sins, author and finisher of our faith and author of eternal salvation, author of life, beginning, beloved son, Blessed hope, bread of life, bridegroom, bright and morning star, chief cornerstone, chief shepherd, chosen of God, door of the sheep, eternal life, faithful witness, firstborn of all creation, firstborn from the dead, the fullness of the Godhead bodily, great shepherd of the sheep, Head of the church, head of all principality and power, and great high priest. Holy and righteous one, holy one of God, horn of salvation, I am. Image of the invisible God, Emmanuel, judge of the living and dead, king of kings, lamb that was slain, lamb without blemish. Light of the world, Lion of Judah, Living Bread, Living One, Living Stone, Logos, Lord God, Lord God Omnipotent, Lord of Glory, Lord of Lords, Mediator and Offspring of David. Only Begotten Son, Passover Lamb, Prince of Life, Propitiation for our sins, Resurrection and life, righteous judge, ruler of the kings of the earth, son of David, son of God, son of man, son of the living God, spiritual rock, the first and the last, the life, 
the truth, the way, true light, true wine, wisdom of God and the word of God. Let us pray. Dear family of Mother Mary's protection, so let's go to silent prayer and ask the Lord what area of our life we are not submitting to his authority. Where are we still fighting him for control? We can't win that fight. And what issue are we seeking to control? What worry is not surrendered? What action is not submitted? What attitude is not spirit-filled? What talk is not sanctified under his authority? My dear friends, let each of us take a minute of silent prayer. We ask all these things through the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and in the name of your son Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.